Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Star Citizen Live Game Dev Star Kart Racing. Uh, I'm the person who lost his regular prescription sunglasses, and this is all I've got right now so I can see the screen. I'm Jared Huckabee. Hi. H have you seen my glasses? I haven't. Joining us on the show this week is uh, 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 Mr. Martin uh, from the from the from which which environment team are you on? Are you on EU Sandbox? I don't. Remember. What team are you on? Hi, um, I'm on the Sandbox Two team. You're on EU Sandbox yeah. Two. Yeah. That that I mean really I mean we're not going to try to throw EU Sandbox One under the bus, but Sandbox Two is better, right? Ah uh, yeah, totally. So, uh, 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 Martin, what, 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 is your, what is your title? I forgot to ask before the show. I was too busy looking for my glasses. Hey, I'm an environment artist, um, too. Environment That's artist, too. And, and what does an environment auto, uh, artist, too, do? Um, yeah, like the title says, I'm doing environments. Like, I'm modeling assets. I'm texturing it. I'm putting them into the level, and then I'm dressing levels with the assets I and other artists created. Okay. And as folks may have seen on Inside Star Citizen last week, uh, when Martin had a little bit of time between tasks, uh, he, uh, he, 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 he how, how did this happen? Where, did you take it upon yourself? Were you, or, or did, did Nick come over and be like, hey, you know, I need you to do this? Like, like how, did the, how did the idea for this start up? Um, yeah, basically Nick came to me and he asked me if I wanted to do, uh, to work on a little side project. Um, the expectations were not really high because it was like really not that much time for, um, for the whole thing. Um, and it was just like, Hey, maybe you have some time. Maybe you want to try to build something in this hall. And I was like, yeah, sounds fun. So, um, we were just brainstorming a bit, um, and yeah, we came up with the go kart track because it's, um, yeah, you can actually fit all the space in this hall quite good um, with not too many assets. Um, so that's how it happened. Yeah. And uh, these kind of things uh, happen quite often in, in game development. Uh, we saw. I want to address some of the comments we saw on the YouTube and and Spectrum and stuff afterwards. Um, Game dev, if you haven't, if, if you've watched everything that we've published, uh, at, at least in the eight years I've been here, I think that when, the, when we last counted, it's something like 2,300 videos, uh, that 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 uh, I've made for Star Citizen. Uh, I hope you'll get a sense that nothing is ever just the work of one team. It, it everything in Star Citizen, everything in game development requires the, the work of this team working with this team and this team and, and has prerequisites of, of, of this team's work and stuff like this. And while there are certain teams that are obviously the lead in charge of this, this is a, this is a project by you sandbox team. Uh, what happens often in game dev is that some things go faster than others. Uh, it's game development, not game construction. As you're figuring things out, as you're fighting the bugs, as you're fighting the bugs to get your stuff made, uh, so sometimes you're left with, you know, extra time here while you can't progress to your next thing while somebody else is working on them. Uh, so lots of different companies work with that that phenomenon in different ways. Uh, one of the things that I think is really awesome about here is we have our kind of backlog, our wish list of tiny things. Like if we find the time, if we if we find the resources, we d we definitely want to throw this stuff in. And that's how things like uh, uh, like the Snake Pit Racetrack uh, 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 for, uh, from Namanja Panic got in, and how things like uh, our our uh, buggy track racing uh, uh, from from Martin here does. So what we are what are we doing today? Um, so today we're building another racetrack, a smaller one, but uh, with the same assets. And um, yeah, let's see how far we can get. All right. So I'm going to start up the screen share here. There you go. So, awesome. uh, yeah. So uh, uh, before we get started, I do want to remind folks that absolutely nothing in Star Citizen can be made in an hour. Uh, it's like I said, not only does it take the work of all these teams, but it, it, boy, we, you know, just. What you're going to see is going to be a small demonstration of process, uh, kind of an accelerated in certain places. So keep that in mind. Uh, and with that, Martin, I'm going to turn it over to you. It's your show. All right. Um, so what I did is I took another room from the convention hall, a smaller one. So 
hopefully we can make a whole racetrack in um, built in here and um i prepared it a little bit cleaned it up um put some branding on it so it looks nice and also i have all my modular assets um on the side here i put them already so so it's just quicker for me to just grab them from here and and place them in the level um i first what we're going to do is we're going to place our roads um we try to make it fun and kind of unique in a way um then we're going to put in some lights um for example um those railings have lights, I already placed them. Uh, so we will just put, um, once we are finished, uh, happy with the road, uh, the track, we just place all those railings in. Then we are gonna get some light. Then we are gonna place some of those um, checkpoint gates and spotlights. I also have a bigger spotlight if we need more lights. Um, we can place them everywhere. If it looks good, then we can, um, go into more details like placing um, those uh, smaller props like those tires and, and this cone which are also physical objects so when we drive over it they will fly away mm -hmm. um, and also then we can um, put in some more dressing like those uh, ground decals this um, uh oil spots and stuff like that just to spice it up a bit um yeah so i think i will just start putting my um track pieces which we're going to use the most inside my hall and then we can start with it yeah man have, have at it tip, 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 tip. i don't know if you know this but uh, uh uh one of the things i did to audition for you know working here was I took the original hangar module, you know, back before Arena Commander was out and then it was just a single player hangar module. And I actually uh, built a racetrack inside the, the, the hangar module. I went in, I got the CryEngine SDK and I pulled it apart and, and I made, I connected all four hangars and, and built a racetrack within the, the hangars. And, nice. And, and I was doing YouTube videos the, uh, of racing around the track and they weren't getting many views because. I just wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't very good at the YouTube stuff, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but, uh, uh, event, but I'm like, I know how to get it, going to get views. I'll, I'll, I'll make this, I'll make this multiplayer. So then I went and got, uh, uh, uh crisis two and, and, uh, uh, the, and basically reverse engineered all of the multiplayer functionality out of crisis two and put it into the hangar module and had the very first star citizen multiplayer match of all time which was me and a guy from australia who loaded into my hangar and we raced around on buggies and that was literally my audition for for cig i'm like i'm like look it's i don't just talk and make videos i can actually do this stuff and understand what this stuff what these people are doing you should hire me <laughs> yeah, that, that's cool so, so, so um, th th this this is a bit somebody reminded me of it on twitter the other day like this this is where you got your start i'm like oh yeah that's why I like this stuff so much. <laughs> awesome. Um, so just to explain a little bit what I'm doing, I'm just connecting those pieces. As you can see, they um, snap nicely together most of the time. Mm -hmm. It can happen that stuff like this is happening, but that's not a big issue. Um, actually, this one is quite easy to fix. Just had to um, change my coordinate system. From what to what? Uh, from world to local. Um, so gotcha. it follows this direction, you know, the, the 45 degree direction. Right. Um, and um, what I would like to do is to focus on this inner area here, you know, so it's surrounded by this um, orange carpet. So I don't have to cover that much. Um, that that much space sorry <laughs> and um also um yeah how can we make it fun i think we should already place some jumps in here right also if the hall is too dark for you just um let me know so i can um 
yeah make it a little bit more brighter so so far so good uh of all the feedback that we saw about the the isc segment and we we didn't we didn't show everything in the racetrack we, we didn't show how you started in loaded in and, and and stuff like that you know we have to leave some things for for players to discover like you know once it hits ptu and stuff but uh i think one of the biggest surprises besides just how awesome it was uh it was the verticality i think a lot of people uh when when they first saw the the ads in uh orison uh kind of expected something that was just flat and mm. you know you know, j j you know like an old slot car you know racetrack kind of thing but i think the the verticality with the jumps and the dips and stuff was was really impressive to a lot of folks yeah we should also include it in that, here that, that 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 was my way of subtly trying to encourage you to include this yeah um i, mean, I didn't want to just tell you think what to about do. it maybe we can not just drive to a higher platform where we can we can jump up onto it i don't know if it works hey hey we're, but, we're just, hey, trying, let's things. Try, we're just right? trying things do it so i mean how many, how many times is the very first version of a of a racetrack ever ever worked yeah <laughs> we, we know, oh, man. We know i did be so many yeah i did so many racetracks just figuring stuff out um also back then when i did the racetrack i um modeled those um, track pieces parallel to it because mm -hmm. i didn't know how wide the track should be um, how tight the corner should be and stuff like that because you know it's, it's just something you, you never had gray cat racing right. in the game yeah. so um um yeah i just had to try it out yeah. and it i had a lot of iterations and yeah until it felt good it took a while i i think there's I think there's probably a, a misperception, a misconception, if you will, that level design always, and it, many times this does, but always starts out with like drawing it out on paper and then, you know, laying it out and stuff like this. I get the sense uh, from the limited time that I've talked to you, you didn't exactly write all this out Oops. on paper before you started messing with it. Am I right? Uh, nah, especially for, for the racetrack. It's like, it's one thing to draw it on paper. Actually, I did it, but you never know if it really is fun when right. you play it. That's a whole nother thing. Um, it looks like I cannot jump high enough, but um, you know what? Let me try to extend uh, the, the ramp a little bit. Um, so since this is um yeah uh not a unique part it um might look a little bit um you know not perfect but i hope the jump will work mm -hmm. uh, kind of like this sometimes you have to be creative and just try things kit bash some stuff until it works and then you can go polish it Oop, ignore these All right and that's what i actually did i i placed some things then i tested it noticed oh shit, it's not working tested it again did some new stuff wow okay this is cool works i think what you jump though you should you should stay at that little elevation though just yeah start, just start building your way like, like 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 build your way up and then like a roller coaster like as you're looping around like like spiral up and then spiral down yep inside of it sounds good is this a low gravity hanger i don't know no, it's not. Let's see. Okay. No, we have our elevated track. Um, okay, in general, how should this track look? Maybe like something like an eight 
So we have this overpass where we're driving under, right? Could sure. be cool. And yeah. also we should add more turns, I think. This is kind of boring right now. Yeah. So... No. Do, 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 do. Uh, Euro Trucker Twenty Four says, "Can a ground vehicle make the best in show?" That's entirely up to you. I mean, I don't know the rules, but, I mean, it's people power. Mm. That's fine. All right. Your trucker always says, "I always thought it was." I mean, if, if you can find somewhere where it says that, I mean, I don't know, Your trucker. That that's the problem. I'm saying I don't know, unless you can find somewhere where it expressly says that. I don't know why anybody would think that. But again, I don't know. Maybe maybe it is. Maybe it is only flyable ships only. But I'm just saying, look at the website, read the text, see if that's what it says. You don't have to wonder. The information is out there. All right, um, I added a few turns. Um, again, test it, see if it's fun. Yeah, jump in game. Zarek Master says, "I mean, it's called Ship Showdown, yeah, but that's because we like alliteration. It's, it's. I mean, Vehicle Showdown doesn't doesn't quite roll off the tongue the same way. You know what I'm saying? It's like they may all be members of the ship team, but they also work on ground vehicles too." So, nice. Oh, love the bank there. All right. Love the bank coming out of it. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I, I just jumped off. And Whip showdown. That's totally go. fine. That was intended. Um. All right. So far, it, I think it's it's okay. Um. Maybe this piece is a bit too long. Um, let's shorten it a bit and add a few more turns um, on the upper area. Actually, what we also could do at some point, um, once we have the track, add some obstacles on the track um that could be also fun for example the tires so you have to dodge yeah. them maybe just remind me later when when i forget it again yep your trucker went in red and says ship showdown is a month-long multi-phase aerospace smackdown where you decide the best ship slash vehicle in the verse yeah see the power of reading I was just reading an article about how Gen Zers like use TikTok and, uh, and like 40% of all Gen Zers use TikTok and uh, Instagram for search, like information search, because they'd rather see small videos with the information than have to read. I was just like, I, I, I think I'm technically a elder millennial. I think that's, that's the new classification for me. And I'm like, I, I would much I'm the guy who makes all the videos, but I would much rather read stuff person. <laughs> it's, it's one yeah. of the great contradictions of my life. <laughs> I see a lot of people talking about voting for the PTV. I mean, you, you, you can you can do that. 
don't get me wrong, but I mean, there are a lot of there are a lot of great ships out there that you know personally, if I were allowed to vote, that you know, like I I'd I'd rather see new options for for there are a couple uh, like like my daily drivers like 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 the Hammerhead like for me personally, I adore the Hammerhead. I'd, I I I'd have a hard time not voting for the Hammerhead every single year and just getting as many many paints uh, for the Hammerhead as possible. That's me personally. Like. If the Genesis Starliner were out, there'd be no force on Earth that could make me vote for something other than the Genesis Starliner. I mean, I I, I get the meme votes. I get I get the the PTV meme vote and the the, the uh, I think that there's there's a mule uh, faction for a meme vote out there, but I don't know. Meme things fun every once in a while, but I think you only get the opportunity once a year. Me personally, I'd get paints for the the stuff I'm actually out there using every day. But that's me. I also like to read, so I'm weird. No, reading is fine. I like where this is going. I like where this is going, Martin. Right. All right, now we have to connect it somehow. Yeah, the, but... the 45 after the jump is a really nice touch. Yeah. Actually, let's just go down again. Yeah. Um, hmm. All right. Uh, Jared, aren't you Generation X? Yes. But, you know, every time they, they do these things, they, they, they come into, like, subdivisions and whatever. Uh, uh, in the larger divisions, I'm Generation X. But then they came up with this subdivision that's, like, a four-year period where it's just coming out of Generation X into whatever the heck was after that and they called it uh, 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 what I call it uh, elder millennials it's basically people who were born when Star Wars was coming out like if you were born when Star Wars was coming out it like fundamentally changed your DNA and you're not quite you're not quite Gen X anymore and you're definitely not a, a millennial it's, it's, this, it's the Star Wars generation and they, they call it elder millennial now or Xenial Xenial was another thing Xenial sounds like I don't know. Xenial sounds like something they, they 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 got from a Final Fantasy video game or something. I'm not a sociologist. I don't make the rules. Meh. Almost fits. Um. No problem. Uh, Senese four sixteen says, "Is this Star Citizen or a racing game? Why can't it be both?" Who wants to put Star Citizen in a box? Not me. But that's the cool thing about Star Citizen, right? That you can do all this crazy shit. It's a sandbox. <laughs> that looks perfect, Martin. Good job. Thank you. Ship it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you don't notice it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you only got an hour. I understand, man. You gotta do what you gotta uh, do. You gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, no you know what? That's that's for cleaning up later on. <laughs> yeah. See, there's there some of my Gen Xers understanding a Dirty Dancing reference. Good job, Nighthawk. We need an in real life version of this racetrack in the Manchester studio. The new Manchester studio is pretty big, but we're already pushing some space limits. I'm not sure we got room for a for a, for a track just yet. We need to, we we need another floor. We got to talk somebody into getting another floor of the building. Another floor. Well, if we're gonna fit a if we're gonna fit a a a, a go kart track in the in the office. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go for it. Maybe you can also have one in the Frankfurt studio, right? All right. Now I have the whole track. Let's see if if it's fun, if it works. It's not the whole track. We're only halfway through. Yeah. We're, we're gonna, 
you you raise this then we're gonna get, we're gonna we're gonna get crazy we gotta go we gotta go up another level yeah sure we can go crazy Oof, just love the 45 coming out of the jump big fan of that All right. All right. So, as, as as your art director for this hour, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you where we break. Watch. Keep racing. Oh, sorry. I already pressed it. Oh. All right. Let me jump back into the game. No problem. This is too nice and professional. We're gonna we're gonna we're we're gonna make this really dumb here. <laughs> I got a rep. I got a reputation to keep, Martin. All right. I go around here. This is all good. All right, so we're gonna jump up here. I make this turn. I come around, hard turn, hard turn, and then right here, stop. I come up now, 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 come on back, back up. Dip, 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 dip. All right, so you see where it 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 it, it curves down here. We're gonna go yeah. up. We're gonna go up here. Up again. We're gonna go up again for a third for Another a third level. level. For a third level. Alright. Crazy. Yeah, sure. Did they mention where it's gonna be yet? Uh the 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 racetrack that you saw on ISC last week, uh, Ruby, that's in Orison. That's in the Orison Convention Center. This is just us uh uh messing around in a side room. They've let me put many things in the game. I don't think this will be one of them. Like, I've named six spaceships and a whole bunch of the subscriber stuff for, like, two years is, is you know, started from my ideas and stuff like that. But I, don't, I, I think asking for the, 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 the monster uh, uh, racetrack we're about to make right now is probably a bit too much. Uh, can we get enough speed for a loop? Uh, that was we discussed that on ISC uh, last week. That the Great Cat, as it's currently tuned, uh, isn't quite fast enough for. Uh... All right. So, so yeah, so 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 stay at this. So stay at this elevation and come and come around. We're not we're not going down yet. No no down yet. No down yet. No no down yet, man. Mm. All right. Martin did not what do you know want what he, me to do? Martin did not know what he was getting into. So so erase that so 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 go straight forward and then come make your next turn. Like go all the way to the end, like you're done. Just just straight forward for a bit. Uh do 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 a do a curve. Uh do you have curves on both sides? Like like a straight like a straightaway with a cur with, with 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 a bend? You know, it curves up like the forty fives. Do you have a straightaway with a forty five? Uh I don't know what you mean. Uh okay. You you know how the, the side of the track can bend up? To a forty-five degree angle, I think it's maybe it's actually thirty degree. Those ones, like that, yeah. Do you have a straightaway with yeah. one of those? Um, yeah. Actually, it's um, where have it? Uh, where are they? Like those guys, and then I just place two of them next to each other, and that that'll, that'll create a straightaway. Yep. Yeah, so you can get rid of those. The, the pieces that are there, you can just delete them. We're not going to use those. Yeah, get rid of that guy. Get rid of that guy. I pushed him to the side for now. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm going to use it. All right. All right. So put that in there. And then, yep, and now zigzag back the other way. No, no, instead of making the turn, we're just going to zigzag a little bit. So that one just curved to the left. Now curve back to the right. All right. We're going to get janky here. Uh, now, yeah, yeah. Uh, doesn't fit that good, but okay, that's fine for now. I can fix it later. All right, and back again. All right, now you got a, you got an extra piece in there. Come come back one piece. Come back one piece. Oh no no, just selection. Mm -hmm. Come back a piece. Come back a piece. Come back a piece. 
What? What? Yeah, what? Yeah, come back. Uh, retrace your steps. All right. Back one more. That one. Get rid of that one. Wait. This one? Yeah, get rid of that one. Yeah, okay. 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 There are, uh, I think, two pieces on top of each other. Sorry. Um, now, yeah. Okay. Yeah, now, 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 Just now. clean it up. Okay. Now, now, now that piece, that's right there. Get rid of it. All right, no, that's good. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now, now you are right. Undo that. <laughs> this is why I'm not an art director. <laughs> un un undo. Bring it back. Yep. And now keep that curve. Okay, keep that curving to the right and continue the curve. It was more. It was a more pronounced curve than I was expecting. There you go. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then add one more. Why? The same direction. Mm -hmm. Yep. And now add. And now start bending back the other direction. Oh God. Yep. This, 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 uh, this is dead this... man's curve. This is dead man's curve. <laughs> Three levels up. This is dead man's curve. We're gonna see some people falling off. There you go. Do you want me to do? Yep. And then come back. Continue it until we're back on a straightaway. You got it. You got it. You, you get. You're getting my crazy. You're getting my crazy. Uh, okay. Yep. And now. And now. A straight piece. Little straight piece. You know, like comes, you know, yep, you know what comes next, Martin? Uh, no, I don't. We, we go up again. Give me, give me a jump. You know that at some point we, we have to get down again, I know, right? I know. We're only halfway through. So, so right, give cool. me another jump up. Give me another jump up. A jump up. All right. Yeah. Let's just copy this one. Man. This is Martin's first SEO. Yeah. Um, you know what? Like this. Um, okay. At some point, we have a roof, right? Yeah, this is this is as high as we're going. This is as high as we're going. Okay. <laughs> so let's build a let's build. So we need a landing, some place for it to land. Um. We gonna need a ramp like this. There you go. Just for referencing the height, how high I can get go. Um. Yo, my snapping was off. That's bad. All right. And I guess you want a straight piece yeah, there, do, right? Do, do we have to slope down? Right there? No. Yeah, just give me another flat piece. Just, just, line, yeah, just line on the flat piece. We can go with this one. Yeah. And then give me another flat piece. I'm about to turn it over to you because you, your your challenge will be to figure out how to get back down after we do this. Yeah, that, that'll, yeah. Be your that'll be your challenge. <laughs> so I'm, I'm about to hand it back over to you. Thank you. Um, now we're gonna. Okay, this is now a challenge, but um, right. you know what? Actually, I should test it first yeah, let's, before let's, I let's um... test it and see if we can get up there. And at this point, now you have to figure out how to get it back down. That'll All be right. that'll be your challenge. Nice, awesome. Thank you very much. Jared more pickier than CR? Heck no. <laughs> yeah, the sound is missing. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs>
I don't know what the great cat sounds like anymore. It's been too long. Dead man's curve. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Ah, ah, ah. It's not that hard, to be honest. Okay. Now we at the right. top. Yeah. So yeah. So now, now it's all you. Now it's all you. Now you got to figure out how to get back down and connect it all. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Twenty-five. Yeah, minutes. That's... You got twenty-five minutes. This is your challenge. That's fine. You it's can't change no anything work. else. You... Like you have to keep what's there, and now you have to connect to it. All right. <laughs> to be honest, that shouldn't be too hard. I think I would just make a turn here, maybe add some more curves to it, and then go down here at the side, or and then we connect it here. So that's the idea. Let's see how it works. Now the exciting thing would be to go down in the middle of the track. Yeah. Oh man, don't make me do this. <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> that would be the baller. Thing. The baller thing would be good to go down through the middle. Yeah, I'm such I don't an know. Asshole. Martin's never gonna come back on SEL ever again. Ooh, that's a big curve. I like it. I like it. Maybe there shouldn't be any railings on top, just so you really get punished when you fall down. Mm-hmm. All right, that's what you like. <laughs> this is Rainbow Road, baby. Uh, this is starting to look like a Mighty Mouse roller coaster. Yeah, it is. I cannot deny that, Kid Hercules. <laughs> cannot deny it. Nor would I want to. All right, now we have to get down like um a lot. Yep. Um. I placed this one piece at the side. No, I need this one, I think. Bloop. It's basically playing Lego, kind of. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I didn't. I I actually just recently discovered the joy of Lego. I had I had never had Lego as a kid uh, until uh, we, until we did this uh, charity live stream event last month. Uh, what mm. I had what I had with were these uh, 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 Fisher Price building thing called constructs that came in a big okay. bright orange uh, briefcase, and uh, I actually had it. I actually had a set of constructs uh, with me during the uh, charity live stream. And one of the builders' challenges was uh, uh, Jared's pain. And if they had drawn one, I was going to get up from the desk and bring them my personal collection of constructs and force them to stop using Lego and start building with constructs. But nobody, nobody drew it. Yeah, that's that's wrong. Lego is just the best. Lego's pretty good. Yeah. But now I want to take the uh, I want to take the uh, orange construction case for my constructs. I'm going to get like a foam insert and I'm gonna turn it into a laptop case. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if this will work. So um oh, that's great. It's just I think fall. I will just fall off it's like but, falling um, down the stairs. Okay. Um let's jump in and try. We are gonna need to figure out where the starting point is. Yeah it would make sense to have it like, um, let me drive there, like oh. here, somewhere. You know, um, I have the starting position block. <laughs> Maybe we can integrate it somehow. Yeah. Um. But yeah, let's um finish the racetrack first. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. That's a cool jump still. Yeah. I mean, usually I would um, try to make it kind of realistic, you know, um, having supports um, supporting the 
uh, racetrack, the upper floor um, racetrack. But right now, I don't even know how to <laughs> add supports in here because uh, it's, it's just it's, crazy. It's grab lab. It's grab lab racetrack. All right. Remember, we got grab lab technology. Whoop, whoop. Okay, okay. I don't know. That was kind of meh. All right. Yeah, you just need some zigzaggy oh, to get to get you connected. Yeah, but but I'm not happy with this part. It it feels kind of you don't have control at all over your car. Right. So, so maybe I so should one drop and then a straight and then a turn and then another drop and you know. Yeah. So man, you could do this could since it's a you know inside a convention center, it, these could be uh, hanging supports. The track could be suspended from the ceiling. Ooh, yeah, right. I like that idea. Sounds good. Good job, don't please. Good idea. But I don't have the assets for it, so... No, no. Sorry, not going to happen no. today. No. We'll, we'll, we'll use Gravlev today. And then, like, the the health and safety department will make us hang ceiling supports later all right uh, can you take a dragonfly on the track uh, the tracks are really scaled and built for the gray cat and stuff like this it's it's remember this this is this is BTR buggy track racing it's not really uh, built for the other vehicles there, there would be all kinds of other additional considerations that would need to be taken in it's not to say all there right. won't be some kind of you know dragonfly racing in the future it's just that not all things can be all things and this is this is this is for gray cat ptvs oh looks right. crazy but I like it. Yes, yeah. it's, it's cool. Yeah. It's something different. All right. So, so, so you wanted to integrate your starting. Yeah. Point. Let's take it. Um, yeah. Might not look perfect because um, it's not connecting that well. But who cares? No. Maybe I should. No. What? What if I you replace that? Unique piece I was, I was, what, what if you? What if you replace that straight piece with the launch there? Uh, to, uh, move, yeah, that guy. Yeah, that guy right like, there. If you replace that piece right there. Yeah. Like, no, you know, because quite, you have those bumps here. It's not at quite the end. long enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Hmm. You know what? I will just place it here for now. Add a turn to it. Um, like this. And then add another straight piece to connect it. You're still going to have to bump. Um, because you know, I, I need a, I need another piece, something mm -hmm. like this one. But um, I have, um, yeah, here this uh, ramp. So um, because for the other racetrack, I needed it. Um, so it's a kind of unique piece. Maybe I shouldn't have done yeah. that. No, yeah, but, use yeah. that. Re replace the straightaway with that guy, and then elevate the, the the gray cat, uh, the, the the launch pad. Yeah. You, yeah, it could also work. We're we're not up, we're already using Gravlev. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, can't you hear the Gravlev? Yeah, I can hear. All right. Yeah, awesome. Now let's put our great cat. 
to the starting position. And this is why racetracks take longer than one hour. Wait, okay, so we don't have that much time anymore to, to build in all the cool um, railings and, and gates <laughs> and stuff, but that's fine. Still got 15 minutes. Yeah, no worries. I can do everything. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. I wonder if Zoom would share the sound. I have to turn off in the engine anyway, because oh, yeah, yeah. at some point it was just, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I couldn't hear it yeah, anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's uh let's do a bad thing. Spun a different ground vehicle and try it with a different ground vehicle. Let's demonstrate what we were just talking about, about how these tracks are really built for a gray cat. Let, let, let's see what happens if we. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Martin is just like, none of the. You, they keep changing uh, the deal. Yeah. I have altered the deal. Pray um, I don't which alter. one? Uh, let's try the mule. Mule. Uh, which one is it? Uh, Drake. Think this one is it this one let me try oh my i was gonna say save work save your work yeah um maybe i sh should save yes, yes, <laughs> it's yes, not yes, a bad yes, thing yes, to yes, do yes, yes. all right well no, it, it can't be a hover guys it, it's, it's fundamental differences in wheeled vehicles versus it's in the front Cyclone's definitely too wide. Cyclone's huge compared. To yeah. Those things. Wow. That's got some zip to it. Look at it. This thing is fast. Yeah. And ah, uh, <laughs> the turn radius is like really high. Now it's yes. dead man's grave. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, see, it changes the whole philosophy. That, that's, that's what we're talking about. It's like you design a racetrack for a very specific vehicle. Yeah, you start you start allowing other vehicles on, and, and all the tuning goes out the window. Come on, I'm fine. And you do you do you're doing much better than I than I th thought that you that you would. I thought I was gonna have to apologize after the show. No, you're doing all right. Yeah, it's it's doable, kinda, but you know, I cannot go full speed because it would just fly off yeah. every curve. But 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 you know what? You know what's awesome about the mule speed, though? Remember Tell that, me. Remember that loop that you made? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got distracted by that. You started thinking about the loop. It sounds like, <laughs> let's go see if the mule can do the loop. I think it can. It was uh, yeah, that's really a, fast. That's... Um, let's see. Where can I put it in? 
Huh. Oof. You're gonna have to get like a running start. Maybe somewhere here. No. I okay, now I will break the, 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 the track a bit, but I think it's worth it. And remember, the loop was built for the gray cat. It was built to try to accommodate the gray cat and whatnot. So this is this this is not as intended. Martin is a professional and I am a clown. Uh, and I am a clown. <laughs> and and I, I am I am forcing Martin to be a clown. Yeah, it's fun to be a clown. It's awesome. All right. Oof. That is a steep. Oh, because you're meant to go out one. All right, so I'm I'm looking at the outway here. That's that's where you come out of it. There you go. All right, just just so we can try. <laughs> This is gonna Let's be save bad. It. All right. Okay, I let me go back again. I'll see you driving a third person. Oh, oh! almost wasn't that bad. Try it in first person where you have like more control, better, better control. All right, um, but first let me go back again. First person universe. Okay, kind of like this, right? And I don't see anything. <laughs> I, I mean, excellent. But it has enough enough speed, so so I can make it work. I just need more time for for the uh, loop. Yeah, and have to adjust it a bit. Right, well, well, maybe, but, maybe, but maybe, 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 uh, maybe Area Eighteen needs some uh, 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 mule track racing. Yeah, I'm a big fan of it. All right, no, try again. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. It, it was worth it. Yeah. for a try so let's put it back we did science we did science yeah all right awesome cool now i think i want to add some lights sure just to make it look a bit better Fantastic already. 10 right. 10. No right. notes. No so, notes. okay, that's it with lights. That's it. Mm -hmm. Um, no, kind of add a few more of those guys. Yeah, I, I think if I'm allowed to speak for the community here, I think the lighting was one of the most impressive aspects of the, of the track that you made for the next patch. It's the, you know, contrasting. By the way, if you're watching this right now and you haven't watched, the ISC segment with the actual track and actual demonstration of what Martin's talent and skill can do, please go and watch that because this is this is me making him a clown. But go see the stuff that he actually made uh, with with the different sections and the colored lights for all the different sections. It is a work of art. Like, like it is you just you just watch it. You just like look at it and it it is it is a beautiful track. Yeah, um, for the lights, I get to say I did the first lighting pass on it, like a really rough lighting pass, and then um, the lighting team took over and made it look 
really good because mm -hmm. I'm no lighting artist and I'm kind of bad with lights, as you can see. You know, this <laughs> is like, look at this. I did light. Um, so, um, yeah, usually more professional people are doing this. Yeah. Shout out to Chris Campbell and his team. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of hard to light the upper area because, you know, all my lights are on the floor, need a floor. Um, yeah. Nah. But actually... Where is... Why isn't that working? Oops. So, this is how the railing looks with the light. I think it's pretty cool when you drive. You you, you get more oh, a sense of speed oh, when you yeah. have all those lights. Oh, the the uh, railing does it. I forget what I said about no railing. That is that is very cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. Um, but you know, setting up light is is. It takes a lot of time, actually, because also I have now my lights bleeding through the road, which can be also fixed, but it takes time, like I said. So right. so I won't do that. Um, but yeah, I will just add a few more of them of them because it looks nice. Why not? Um, Awesome. Lighting is done. Not quite. Cool. All right. Look at that. Not bad for an hour. Oh, no, actually, it was more like 45 minutes because I derailed you. But yeah, it's pretty good. Nice. Okay. Can we drive it a last time? Yeah, drive it in first person. We haven't seen it in first person yet. <laughs> I cannot go up there. Are you All stuck right. prone? No. Oh. First person. I, I'm a really bad driver in first person, so don't expect me to make oh, it. Oh, don't sell yourself short. You're a bad driver, period. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Those railings do so much. Yeah, right. Good call on the railings. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Why aren't you? Rewind. <laughs> fire. Fire. <laughs> Somebody's on fire. Okay. And Reach thus out. ended the story of Martin Mills. <laughs> uh no, that's that's good. Um before we go, you uh, you want to you want to see the racetrack? Uh one of the racetracks I made like Almost a decade ago in Star Citizen? Yeah. Hold on.
Let me, uh, let me do this. Let me see if I've never, I should maybe have figured out how to do this before. All right, so I'm gonna switch back to the yes. And I'm gonna do this over here. And then I'm gonna screen share with you. Let's see if this works. Uh, we'll optimize for video clips so that you can see it. Uh, do you see my screen share now? I do. All right, hold on. And then if I do this, hold on, Will this play? This is really old. It's <laughs> said that the test of a man's courage is how he performs in the face of danger. To meet these challenges on so the see, I made like a hologram a racetrack. Just any oh, nice. That will do. Because you're a unique breed of racer, aren't you? The kind of person who this is also my custom gray cat. So you'll need a gray cat. I also had a really so bad cold. Please don't judge the season. please don't judge the voiceover. Even if that includes yourself. Well, Lobot Industries is proud to bring to you the Grey Cat 6000 SUX. Covered from head to toe with a bunch of crap you could find anywhere else, but won't. The Grey Cat 6000 SUX is a modern day testament to the virtues of excess. First and foremost, every 6000 SUX comes with an automated drive. <laughs> All right, we're not going to watch the whole thing. But, but yeah, but that, that, but <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, very, very vertical. Uh, very, very vertical and stuff like that. Yeah, that's yeah. That, that was what that was one of the things I did way back when. Uh, that's what you wanted me to do, right? To recreate your no, just just, just, just little, I just wanted a little little bit little, <laughs> little, little bit of that class, little bit of the classic. Uh, disc. Like I said, it is where, literally where I got my start with Star Citizen. So, all right, Martin, your first SCL. How do you feel, man? I'm good. I'm good. That was fun. You feel like you want to come back at some point? Yeah, sure. Good. If I get another invitation. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were you you were willing to put up with my crazy dumb dumb crap. That 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 that'll, that'll always get you. That'll always get you invited back. Um. All right, everybody. That's it for uh, this week's uh, Star Citizen Live uh, Game Dev Star Kart Racing. Uh, that is Martin Mills, uh, Environment Artist Two from the EU Sandbox Two team. Lots of twos in his in his his portfolio there. Um. Be sure you check out uh. uh Inside Star Citizen from last week uh, with the actual uh, buggy track race uh, racetrack that's going into the uh, uh, to the quarter three patch this year. Um, and then uh, uh, be sure you check out uh, yesterday's ISC uh, with with our, our, our showdowns, our, our sprint showdown. Uh, lots of updates, uh, stuff ahead of uh, ship showdown. Don't forget ship showdown 2952 starts this Monday, it's your chance to vote uh, and, and determine the best of the best of all ships and vehicles uh, currently flyable or drivable in Star Citizen uh, for a chance to to award them some fancy new paints. And those paints get cooler and more interesting every single year. So so think hard before you want to throw something like that away on a meme thing. That's just your Uncle Disco you know, you're telling you maybe, may, maybe you want to really vote for the ones you really want this year. Uh, and then come on back. Uh, to Inside Star Citizen uh, next week, where we're talking um, uh, new stuff from the, from the mission feature team uh, coming in the next patch, uh, changes to prisons and 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 changes to Korea. Ooh, Korea, one of the oldest locations in the Persistent Universe, is getting some some uh, uh, fancy new stuff. So check that out. It's, it's, it's an all mission feature team special next week. And then I can't remember what Star Citizen is uh, or in Star Citizen Live is next week. So just check the uh, Twisk. Uh, on Monday, and uh, if you like Dungeons and Dragons, uh, in about like three hours, I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons with Star Citizen streamers, uh, D DJ Knight and Bad News Baron and and Smashly. Uh, check that out. I uh, I don't know what channel it's on, but uh, check Twitter. Check I, th I think it's on my Twitter. Uh, if you if you want to watch me hang out, hopefully I'll I won't have to wear sunglasses by then. I'm gonna try to run back to the office and see if I can find my glasses before that. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's all the stuff I have. Um, yeah, that's all the stuff I have. See you later, everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye. Ooh, that's the wrong thing. I should really like write down the stuff that I need to say at the end of the show so I don't have to like remember it. That would be like a professional <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> but again, I am not a professional. I am a clown. Yeah, it was professional enough. <laughs> I guess. So how was it? Was it okay? You were great, man. Yes, the mic is still live. You can still hear us. <laughs>